value for water. Wellness is a complete integration of the body, the mind, and the spirit. So says Greg Anderson, and so it is indeed. And that's the message we always bring forward on our program, Wellness and Living. The essence of Tai Chi and Yoga is for those that cannot do intensive uh, exercise and sometimes for those that want to recover. You have heard of Tai Chi. Have you also heard about yoga? Have you ever practiced that? Tai Chi I hear is from the Asian continent and it has come to us in Nigeria and many people practice it and there are people who teach it and they say the benefits are enormous. Let's tell you what we know. Tai Chi exercise is a non-competitive soft martial art known for its self-defense techniques and health benefits. It combines gentle physical exercise and stretching with mindfulness. The ancient Chinese practices of Tai Chi and Qigong combine slow, deliberate movements, meditation, and breathing exercises. It involves a series of movements performed in a slow, focused manner and accompanied by deep breathing. Also, Tai Chi Chuan is a non-competitive, self-paced system of gentle physical exercise and stretching. Each positive flow goes into the next without pause, ensuring that your body is balanced, aligned, and enjoys proper circulation. It is a low-impact workout and is especially helpful to seniors. Tai Chi is for everyone and it's deceptive in that many do not know that it helps to burn a lot of calories. Research shows that one hour of Tai Chi actually burns more calories than surfing and nearly as many as downhill skiing. It improves strength, flexibility, body awareness and mental concentration. Tai Chi can improve your health too. It is said to improve the flow of Chi a physically intangible energy or life force. Abdul, I've come to learn, is a man of many, many exciting parts. He's a fitness trainer. He's actively involved in Tai Chi. He also talks about yoga. And with his creative slant, he has now brought Tai Chi and blended with yoga, and he has given it a very unique and uncommon name. In fact, I've never heard it before. He calls this one Teyo. <laughs> Tai Chi is a Chinese um, martial art and at the same time awareness exercise that help uh, the health of an individual and improve uh, everybody's development. Yoga is a still awareness program. When you look at yoga, you practice in one stillness, movement, and the, it's help in a in improving our tightness, when you feel very tight, you can practice yoga at the same time when you feel stress. And a stressful body is not productive body. As such, when you practice this, you are able to have some reserve energy you can use to do some uh, activities. <music> So I combine it called Teo, Tai Chi, and yoga because there are not much differences in its essence. Stillness and motion has to be combined. Stillness alone cannot cover your overall health development. You have to engage the body in moving from one point to the other. For example, you can stay in this position and practice all your movements as yoga 
And then when you are involving an exchange of your body from one point to another, therefore, Tai Chi uh, coming in. And at the end of the day, once you can take your time and practice this, you feel alive. You feel you can sleep well. And at the same time, without, I mean, making it so hard for yourself, especially in a high intensive aerobic, you can pick yoga, you can pick Tai Chi. You can combine the both when you have the time. Two minutes of Tai Chi or one minute of yoga is enough for those that are working in the office. Now, if you have enough time, 30 minutes for those that have uh, enough time, like you came back from work from 4.30, you can enter the class from 5. You can do one to two series of Tai Chi movement that can help your spinal cord, help your joints, relieve your pains. Your health is what you need. And at the same time, the body you live in, you need to maintain it. Without being maintaining your body, they are going to fall. They are dying so levis. It helps you to know what's wrong with you. There are some therapy you can use to help yourself, especially those that always have a problem with snoring because it's due to stress, due to overweight, and due to health-related problems. Yeah, all this can be overcome when you design awareness program because you are aware of your breath because everything is done. Both yoga and tai chi are done in combination of breathing exercises, pranayama, tai chi, uh, chi massage, and at the same time, relaxation. All form of corpse poses help you to revitalize your body. Yes, you can actually share it with, but there are two conditions. Time, one, and at the same time, you have to be free of all your problems. You have to keep problems before uh, starting your classes. When I say problem, it includes, I mean, uh, whether it's family issue, office issue, and at the same time, you have to remove excess waste in your stomach before starting yoga and Tai Chi, because you need, you need a full awareness. In inside here and when you practice it's advisable for you to start with yoga because it's stillness you know when you start yoga then you do Tai Chi I mean especially for the men but for women it's important for you to start with Tai Chi and close up with uh, yoga because you're going to do a lot of cross poses by lying down series of sleeping position and at the same time regain the energy being used so this uh, way we, 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 we can define uh, a way of losing weight. Once you want to lose weight, you start uh, looking at which weight you want to shed. Because when somebody wants to lose weight, it's not the weight of the body or the weight of the muscle. You want to lose the fat in that body. Your weight may, may be within residing around your stomach. Your weight may reside around your thigh. Your weight may reside around your arms or around your back. So when this happened, we designed a series of programs for that very problem as such. Because if you just practice, because you see people practicing, you don't have the problem she has as such. So you, you must practice with an expert that will design a program to your problem. At the same time, you need to consult your doctor so that and you, before you talk to your instructor, these are the problem I have. I had an acid and have a spinal disc problem. I have a, a, some kind of broken legs. I always have series of headache so that he can adjust your program. You, everybody cannot practice the same thing others are practicing. you're celebrating it's a birthday or it's a wedding or your alumnus is coming together after three decades since you left school and of course you want to purchase the same fabric and make wonderful styles and appear at the event with lots of pomp and pageantry it's all good it adds excitement to the event when we all dress alike or wear similar outfits. Everyone is happy and it shows togetherness. When you do get there, there'll be lots of food and drink. It often happens. So what do you do?
Leisure is important to help the body unwind and relax, to invigorate the body mentally and physically too. It is a necessary habit that everyone must imbibe. How do you spend your leisure time? Mm, yeah, I do go to parties actually. I don't spend my leisure time going for parties because I know it's not every time to attend, not any how parties to do attend though. When I'm less busy, when I don't have anything doing, I go to parties and I enjoy going to parties. For men, especially those who work five days every week, leisure time starts at the weekend when with pomp and pageantry they adorn themselves in attractive colors and styles and storm the occasion of their choice. Perhaps a wedding ceremony, a birthday celebration or an inauguration of some sort. There is often food, then the Ashwebi is in full glare. How do you comport yourself outside? Is there a right way and a wrong way? Check this. For example, many party goers hustle, or if you like, rush the ushers, waiters, for different varieties of food. I feel when I buy the clothes and they see me, they should automatically give me the food. Even if, um, even if they ask, I'm someone they don't know. As far as I have the clothes everybody's putting on, I'm happy to write the food. Buying the ashebi doesn't mean you should go and eat extra or you are just buying it for yourself. At least you are the one to wear it. You feel good if you are wearing it at least. And you also make them feel happy because you, as in you make them special by doing it. I feel I have extra rights actually because before I buy ashebi, I know the person I'm attending his or her party is close to me and so, so I deserve at least to eat the food now, you understand? Me buying the ashebi doesn't mean I have right to the food because it's kind of awkward. I might just disgrace myself in that process, trying to form that I have the right to everything there. I might just end up disgracing myself. Trying to access food is not bad in itself, but sometimes in such quantities that it is obvious that the receiver cannot finish all of that in one sitting. This habit is not too good. How do you eat when you are outside your home? No, do not rush your meals. Eat with decorum. Do not let those around you begin to wonder if rice and chicken or a goosey or a foriro and pounded yam are imported delicacy. They are ours. And sometimes you can make these meals at home. Now, to those souvenirs. Because you purchased a shwebi, you want to fill your bag with souvenirs. What happens to the other people who also attend events? Most times I go to parties with my friend. When they order their food, I follow what they order. But sometimes when I go alone, I like local dishes. So I go for local dishes most times. No. Party food is not a right. Uh, you have to behave yourself, be very mature, cool down, there should be no fights. Because uh, as I try to eat, you know, party things sometimes it results to fights, results to problems like that. And uh, as, there's so many stories as attached to food. So you have to behave yourself very comfortable, sit down, whether it comes to you or not, then you behave yourself. It's just like, I have to behave like, um, let's say, mature, like, let's say, not, at least, not eating everything, you know, now that kind, chop, chop, and all that stuff, so at least I try as much as possible to take the portion I can consume. When you take more than has been mapped out for you, when you do that, many others will not get their souvenirs. If the shoe were on the other foot, how would you feel? Now, my dear friends, remember this. Good character is what you exhibit when no one is watching. Are you exhibiting good conduct and character? Answer honestly and check yourself where and when need be. Answer honestly and check yourself where necessary.
that talk with Abdul, of course my curiosity was piqued. I wanted to see the practical aspect of uh, Tai Chi, yoga, the blend, bringing it together, forming Tayo, you know, what does it now translate into? What kind of music is brought to play to ensure that those who are practicing it get a fantastic blend of calmness as well as fluid body movement? Well, I grabbed Abdul. This is how it went. I had a fantastic experience working out with Abdul, learning about Tai Chi, yoga, the fantastic blend, you know, of Teo, learning to bring forth music that helps you meditate as well as practice some fluid body movements. And I know you want to do it too. Are you interested in getting totally warmed up? Feeling very good when you take nice movements that can relax you and help you to unwind, then get in touch with us. Abdul has promised that as soon as we're ready, we can gather together and have a fantastic time doing Teo.
It's always a great pleasure to have your company on Wellness and Living on the Nigerian Television Authority. Just like today, please join us on our social media handle, Wellness and Living at Nigerian Television Authority. We are on Facebook. For now, it's a wrap. We'd love to spend time with you again on the program. Until then, it's bye for now. Man is created to be able to make choices in life. The choices we make as homo sapiens makes man either rational or an irrational being. Based on his choices, he is expected to be responsible for the totality of his actions and inactions. A man's lifestyle is the interest, opinions, behaviors and behavioral orientations of the individual, group or culture. Life is full of choices, good or bad, white or black. The various choices we make as individuals will one day catch up with us. One of those choices we make in life relates to our health. After all, it is often said, health is wealth. It suffices that our health is important and should be precious to us. However, some of our choices in life as individuals responsible for our various ways of life leaves much to be desired. While a healthy lifestyle will help promote physical fitness and leaves us energetic and at reduced risk for diseases based on the choices we make in our daily habits, an unhealthy lifestyle exposes us to avoidable risk of varying degrees of dangers, some controllable and some fatal. Your lifestyle um, can affect your health in several ways. If you're a smoker, be prepared to die early. If you're a drunkard, your liver is at stake. So if you live a good lifestyle, there's every tendency that you would live longer. The kind of food you eat, like proteinous foods, uh, which are very, very good for our health. Not that alone, you're taking good water to flush in and to make your food digest easily. We must be able to consider uh, physical fitness because people who do not you know, indulge in exercises, daily exercises, they most times have their life being you know, hampered. So on a daily basis, we must be able to have from the habit of you know, doing exercises or one way or the other have ourselves you know, doing uh, physical fitness exercises. So when you live your life, you need to balance off. You don't need to overstress and overwork yourself. Yes, you should work, but you should know the balance between work and rest so you don't break down at a point and then you just get very useless. What we consume, eat, drink or smoke goes a long way in determining the status of our health in the long run. The most common for us, and I think I should start with that, is um, unnecessary sugar. Instead of doing that, why not opt for a healthy option like your fruit juice, freshly made, which your sure contains nutrients. But too much alcohol is not good for the body. Cigarette already said that already. And then um, fats, they have saturated fats. Saturated fats are totally bad for us. Good nutrition, daily exercise, and adequate sleep are foundations for continuing good health. As important and simplistic these seems, it requires great discipline for anyone to maintain a healthy lifestyle, which helps improve our general well-being. If you are self-read, if you 
take your body seriously enough to be able to research by yourself, I don't think it will cost you anything. Because if you think your body is important enough and you read up on what to do at the right time and how to handle your body, it wouldn't cost you anything. But if you feel like, oh, you're too busy doing, because there's something I respect, I respect professionalism. There are some people, like I said, I'm a lifestyle doctor. This is my work. This is where I am focused on. So if you think you're too busy focusing on your own profession, that you wouldn't have the time to do that, then it would cost you something to be able to get my service. But if you really take your body seriously, it shouldn't cost you anything to read up on things to do to make yourself a better person. Eating the right food, fruits, vegetables, stress management, and a regular medical checkup can help us to maintain a perfect or near-perfect elder living. Unfortunately, it's been discovered that most people are complacent about their lifestyle habits and so they do the opposite of what ordinarily should help them promote and sustain a good healthy living. Unhealthy lifestyle is actually life-threatening. It is life-threatening. Beyond the fact that it might cost your life, I think you should actually think about a lot of people, nobody wants to die really, people want to live long. But if you want to live long, quote and unquote, how do you want to see yourself when you are like 80? Do you want to be a burden on people? Do you want to be healthy enough? Do you want to be strong enough to function properly? Because actually living a, le a healthy lifestyle is like an investment. Most people that are sad, depressed, if you check, their lifestyles are not in order. If you follow all the six headings from the nutrition to exercise to tobacco and alcohol consumption to stress management to proper sleeping and having healthy relationships, if these lifestyles, if they are well balanced, I can assure you won't have people committing suicide. So, like, the toll on the body, go, like, the list is endless. In general, as rational human beings, you are responsible for the consequences of your actions and inactions. Why won't you choose to live a healthy lifestyle that will not predispose you to further consequences in life? This is a Sherry Hughes. The Sherry Hughes are a range of undulating hues and rock formations on the Just Plateau. It is situated about 10 kilometers.